Well, it's a new segment, and it's something I've been talking about for a while, and we're finally doing it. So, you see, um, I am a big fan of crusty <laughs> YouTube videos. This recorded in like 2022. Yet the videos look like <clears throat> they were recorded in 2003, right? So, um, something happens with people's telephones. <laughs> telephones. <laughs> For the quality is just so bad. And it adds a mystique to everything, right? So, but ladies and gentlemen, this is the spooky YouTube video night. Um, this is, of course, a new segment, as I said, which means that a lot of the um, intricate kind of like details how we do this it's probably going to change over time, but uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, I think. Yeah. Uh, you guys have sent in a bunch of spooky videos for me to watch, and I'm gonna I'm gonna watch them. I'm not trying to get scared, you know. But uh, every Saturday from here on out, we're gonna see if we can do something like this. <clears throat> this week will be Duende. Duende is uh, <laughs> well, quite frankly, <clears throat> I'm gonna show you what Duende is all about. Too. Here we go. Um, a duende is a humanoid figure of folklore with variations from Iberian, Ibero-American, and Filipino cultures, comparable to dwarfs, gnomes, or leprechauns. In Spanish, duende originated as a contraction of the phrase dueño de casa or duende de casa, effectively master of the house, or perhaps derived from some similar myth mythical being of the visitor the Swabian cultures. Okay, this is... But let's... Is where it gets very interesting. Cultures given its comparable looks with the tomte of the Swedish language conceptualize a mischievous spirit in inhabiting a dwelling. That means, ladies and gentlemen, that this whole phenomenon of duendes ties in with the Swedish tomte. And the Swedish Santa Claus is the tomte. And before Coca-Cola went to Sweden and Americanized uh, Santa Claus, uh, you had this. I've talked about this many times on the stream, but uh, this is what they used to be. <laughs> this is what they used to be. Um, this used to be our Santa Claus. It's a little tiny little man. And, uh, well, can I... <laughs> can I... Uh, yeah, here we go. Yes. So, <clears throat> the obvious question is, um, is Swedish Santa a duende? I don't know. But uh, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, we're going to get to the bottom of this. Uh, because we have we have our team, a team of uh, experts here in chat to, to tell me all about this phenomenon. But as you can see, uh, there's a big thing in Spain, Portugal, and Latin America in general. Um... You know, um, as you can see, th there's a lot of stuff here. Duendes are known to smell like grass. <laughs> and are small in size, not much larger than a flower, but may change their size to be as large as mortal humans or even taller. In other regions, anjanas are as tall as humans. Okay, okay. Um, well, there's a lot here. Look, look at all these variations, man. I gotta, I gotta cough real quick. Hang on. Sorry, I, I kind of just woke up for this whole segment. Okay, um, well, hang on. Trascos. Trascos are among the most hated of duendes. They're mischievous creatures. They love to enter people's homes through chimneys and live within the hidden space of a home. They move things around at night or right out steal things from the homes they inhabit. So they're forever lost. They love to climb up trees, throw pebbles, seeds, and branches at people. They may turn good boys into mischievous ones. Boys who are improperly raised may even become Trascos themselves. Yeah, that just sounds like friend. Okay. Well, <laughs> all right. Uh, there's a variation in, in Portugal about this, by the way. Uh, Duende also appears in Portuguese folklore, described being as a small statue wearing big hats. Whistling a my mystical song, <laughs> often walking in the forest, variously rendered in English as goblins, pixies, brownies, elves, or leprechauns. But brownies are kind of cake. What? Oh, look at the cinnamon bun. He's stealing my knives. 
<laughs> the duende used their talents to lure young children to the forest who lose their way home. So they are evil. I guess it, it, it depends how evil they are on their local flavor of brownie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this makes no sense. But, uh, okay. In Latin America, conversely, in some Latin American cultures, duendes are believed to be the helpers of people. See, these in certain parts, they are good. Uh, get lost in the forest so they can find their way home. <clears throat> In the folklore of a Central American country of Belize, playing in the country's uh, African island Caribbean descended Creole and Canfuna populations. The ones thought as the four spears called Tata Duende, who lack thumbs. Um, interesting. Uh, in the Hispanic folklore of Mexico and the American Southwest, the ones are known as gnome like creatures who live inside the walls of homes, especially in the bedroom walls of Junction. That's terrifying. Uh, Okay. They attempt to clip the toenails of unkept children. What? <laughs> Often leading to the mistaken removal of entire toes. <laughs> what? What are you saying, man? <laughs> what? They attempt to clip the toenails of unkept children. Often leading to the mistaken removal of entire toes. That is crazy. That is crazy. Okay. Um, and the Philippines. This is a little different, actually. Let's take this out. Filipinos believe in duende, which often dwells in rocks and caves, old trees, unvisited and dark parts of houses, or in termite mounds. Okay. Those that live in the last two are termed... I'm not going to begin to say that. They're categorized as good or evil, depending on their colors okay and are often said to play with children who are more capable than adults of seeing them okay so you gotta have like the the, in the, the sight offending a duende is a taboo people step on them are believed to be cursed or by the angered duende within okay well <laughs> <laughs> all right uh well you just wash the fuck out don't come in my house are right, you gonna get stepped on? You know. Anyway, uh, the Chamorro people of the Mariana Islands tell tales of the Tataumona, duendes or other spirits. A duende, according to the uh, the text, is so tiny I can barely read this. I have to like squint. Um, okay, uh, by the Donald Topping. Um, okay, so in this, in the Mariana Islands, is a goblin, elf, ghost, or spook in the form of a dwarf. A mischievous spirit which hides or takes small children. So they're kind of creepy. You know, they'll, they'll, they'll like take your baby and go <laughs> and go away, right? And in some folklores, those children may lose their toes or they might even turn into uh, duendes themselves. Okay, okay. Well, um, now we know a little bit more about this, but. Uh, here they are. Uh, here's one of the duendes. Uh, this was done in 1799. You know, this guy right here, as you can see. And uh, he's got a big old hand. He's got a big old hand. And uh, he's a little creepy. Okay. Someone said, that's just a hobbit. Well, I think he's got a big old Mickey Mouse hand. And he's going to slap somebody. Okay, yeah. But ladies and gentlemen, the segment begins now. You all sent in these videos, and uh, there's a whole f cultural phenomenon on YouTube about, as I said, um, these videos uh, have uh, a like, kind of low quality to them. Um, they were recording between like mid, like 2008, seven ish, to sort of contemporarily now. But uh, we're gonna be watching them, and we're gonna we're gonna put our scientific facts. We just write about from Wikipedia, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna analyze them. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the new segment. This uh, little uh, graphic here is done by Tommy Case, and uh, we're gonna be watching them through here, and it's pretty damn cool. But um, yes, I'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's watch them doing the videos. Um, you've all sent these in, and the future and going on forward with this. Um, you know, if you want to have your sent in, 
for me to watch on this this new segment. I just contact one of the mods and <laughs> I'll uh, <laughs> I'll get to it. But ladies and gentlemen, we're starting off. We're starting off on a good video. Um, this one is called Captain a un sup supuesto duende caminando in Salvador. So this is from El Salvador. And uh, not sure, but this was on the news. This was on the news, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Um, so this is a big thing. <clears throat> you know, in El Salvador, they went out and they said, listen, this is a big deal. We have to report on this. La foto de un supuesto duende en El Salvador está causando revuelo en las redes. Ahí va a ver la imagen donde se aprecia a un ser diminuto. I'm sorry, is this a real video? La foto de un supuesto duende en El Duende. So my, my pronunciation of this is fine. Duende. Okay, so it's a duende momento. Okay. El Salvador está causando revuelo en las redes. Ahí va a ver la imagen donde se aprecia a un ser diminuto con unos enormes ojos negros y grandes pies deformes. Se ve ahí. I mean. <laughs> That, <laughs> that's that's just a baby. That's just Tim Burton's baby, okay? <laughs> okay. Usando la calle a plena luz del día. Show the video, show the video. El turista que la tomó asegura que no vio a ese personaje hasta que vio la foto. Y no es lo único. Okay. Ya que se han reportado otros encuentros con supuestos duendes. Do you have a video or just a photo? Incidente salvadoreño. That's it? That's it? Just a photo? Duende. Dude, that, that is... That was a picture, all right? <laughs> this is on the news? La foto de un supuesto duende en el... <laughs> there must have been a slow day in El Salvador to report on this shit, you know? That was just... <laughs> okay. Uh, she did say it was a photo, apparently. She did say it was just a photo, apparently. But we're starting off strong here. Uh, with the, th That is, that is, you know what this looks like? You know what this looks like? Hang on. Um, it reminds me of, uh, of these, like, black and white clowns. Um. God damn it. Um. You know that you know the kind of clown, not, not like mimes. Um, they, they're like they have a black and white suit and they have little like puff balls across their body and like a. Yeah, these guys. These guys. This is just this, okay? He just escaped from the French circus, all right? This has nothing to do with Duende, okay? This is just a little like French little mime. You know, go, you know, escaping from, from, you know, <laughs> come on. That's just a Frenchman. Okay. Well, uh, starting off <laughs> bizarre, but this whole segment is, is going to be quite bizarre. So, uh, all right. Cool. 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 Okay. Well, thanks for sending that in. Thanks for sending that in. I, I definitely uh, uh, have been shown that duendes can be of any size. Duendes can be like wherever, whenever. So, uh, you know, I should probably do this too so we can actually see this like under it. There we go. Yes. Um, well, we're going to move on here. Uh, there is another one. There is another one from El Salvador, by the way. We're going to be checking this one out. This one is just Duende en El Salvador, Chile. So uh, let's check it out. Okay, first of all, this is the first video of tonight. Uh, it's gonna be just videos, really. But, uh, okay, there, there's someone screaming in this video. Uh, it's pretty, pretty unsettling, actually. This is someone having sex. Going, oh! I'm about to turn off the bra- Okay, no, 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 I can see, I can see things. Sergio! Sergio! Okay, dude, the, the little guy is gonna come running. I've Sergio. seen these videos before. Okay. 
It's gonna be hiding in the shadows somewhere, and it's gonna go. You know. Oh, I, 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 my, my duende, my duende, warning alarm in my head is going off. There's a duende here somewhere. Okay. Where is he? Where is he? Duende. <laughs> okay. He's hiding behind that giant uh, thing here. Is it gonna be a jump scare? Huh? <laughs> what? That's V for Vendetta. That's V for Vendetta. That's that's just a man. Okay, but apparently this is Tyler's a duende video. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> like it. <laughs> okay, okay, so I the way this was shot, I fully expected a little guy to run across here. You know? But that wasn't what it was a lot. It was just a guy in a in a construction site with a, like a sex mask on. <laughs> Somebody said that's just a juggalo. <laughs> Guys, the jug alert tonight is going off. Beep, beep, beep. Whoop whoop. Okay. Um. Huh. Eyes wide shut. Uh. But I I I I I I thought the video kind of started a little creepy, but but it really fizzled out here. Um. The question is, will any of these scare me tonight? That that's the question. But but um. Okay. So he's looking around. And, okay. <laughs> I don't want to speak Spanish. What is he saying? What is he saying? He's cursing, son of a bitch. <laughs> I, I, I extrapolated that much. <laughs> he says, oh no, Duende. <laughs> oh, Duende got me again. Okay. Uh, my Spanish is is very very poor, so uh, you know I'm gonna have to need some uh, translation help here. But um, okay, but that was a, that was a mask man. That was just a mask man, man. Uh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, okay. Well, here we go. Next video we have here is gonna be a little interesting. Uh, this one is half in English. Okay, this one is half in English because this one is called Duendes. And Nochis, Mexico. Elf spotted in Mexico. Okay, th th I can already tell it's gonna be great. I can already tell it's gonna be great because when a video uploaded, n maybe not like super long ago, still it's just only like 114p. That's what I'm talking about, okay? That is what I am talking about. Anyway, let's go. So they're playing soccer. They're playing soccer in just a room, okay? Well, as we know, as we know, you know, Duende is loves to mess around, okay? So if this Duende comes around, steals the ball and runs away, that's totally, totally what I understand from these videos. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, first of all, this is a, a, a jaw from Star Wars. <laughs> no, 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 no. Houdini. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna rewatch that again. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so first of all, they're totally unsuspecting of this. The guy runs out, but he makes a noise too. Okay. Okay, well, here we go. <laughs> okay, I have a question. This guy, this guy right here, <laughs> is so shocked. He has shotgun onto the floor, crying because this duende went into the soccer match, and he is so obliterated by this Java coming along. <laughs> He's so crying on the floor. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> you should have been running after the one, though. Right, they're probably calling from mom and dad. Okay, that that's 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 hysterical. Okay. Okay, I, I gotta time this. I gotta time this, guys. Okay. Okay. That's just a Star Wars guy. That's a little Star Wars guy. Okay. George Lucas. Okay. That might be George Lucas. You know, <laughs> be him. <laughs> one more time here. One more time here. That's that's pretty good. I I. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Did, did you notice he? It's just this noise. It's 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 this fucking noise. <laughs> okay. This video is gonna get crazy. Okay. But if you really want to analyze this, uh, I'm gonna say that this entire video, this entire video, <laughs> this entire video, this is like their baby brother, and like a piece of like cloth, okay, running around. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> wonderful, <laughs> wonder. So I said probably fake. None of these videos are fake, okay. It, I'm gonna to establish something for you guys. On Spooky YouTube Video Night, none of these videos are fake. Every single one of these video videos are like totally, totally real. Totally real, no fake, okay? So uh no. No, 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 no. Uh okay, well that was that was that was pretty good. That was pretty good. I, I enjoyed that one. But they were they were playing soccer inside the house, which like I, I don't know if this is inside the house or just outside a little bit, but dude, I would have been more scared of my parents rather than the the creepy toe stealing duende, because if that soccer ball goes through a window, no mythological creature on the planet is gonna be as scary as my mom and dad yelling at me. That's fucking terrifying. <sighs> okay, well there we go, everybody. Uh, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Now, the next video we have here, the next video we have here is the classic. This is the video that started this whole phenomenon. This video is the one that made Duende videos into what it is today. Um, this is the classic. Everybody knows this video. This is the video that I refer to as, there's a garden gnome out there that keeps skadoodling across a field. Everybody knows this video. If you're one of the people that haven't seen this, this started it all. Okay? Here we go. Archivos Sinistrus. Okay, um... El Tribuno. Okay. The, the, uh, first of all, I'm gonna say this. This video added a lot. Because this is really shot in like 2006 or seven. This was a flip phone, you know. So you can't you can't fault it for like having bad FPS. But there was something about how this was shot that's made this kind of like quote unquote real, you know. Because everybody saw this video like, what the fuck is that, you know? Okay, they're just hanging around, and then something's going on. Something's going on. Wait a minute, there's a noise! <laughs> and then suddenly, I don't know where. On the light. There's a fucking duende standing over there. And they're probably wondering, like, what the fuck is that? What's that little guy? But then, it's no longer a garden gnome. It's not a traffic cone. 
es un toe-stealing duende. Yo te suro. Pero que te... te... <laughs> okay. He's moving. He's going around. He's shuffling. <laughs> okay. It, it, they're so they're so shocked by this by this the, the, what they're seeing that they start fucking throwing up in fear. Okay. This little garden no man. Okay. Has caused the, the these two dudes fail and go. All right, they're th throwing up in fear. <laughs> okay, uh, that's true horror. All right, that is true horror. Okay. <laughs> It is a bit of a slow-mo recap. As you can see, the duende shuffles here. And then they're like, wait a minute. Well, my favorite part about this is that this 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 duende, um, it doesn't say where this video is from, but I think this is a friendly duende. Alright, this friendly duende has the hat on. And I forgot which category it was in, but uh, this this duende might be the one that's just like, hey, I'm gonna come like uh, pay your bills or like make you a pie or something, because he's waving at him. He's like, look, he's like, hello, and they start throwing up. Okay, imagine being a mystical creature that's been, you know, sleeping in a tree for eight thousand years. You come out, you see some strangers, and you want to say hello. He's like, and then suddenly. Sort of like, you would crawl back in that tree and say, fuck this, <laughs> fuck this. <laughs> hang on, hang on. <laughs> Um, biblically accurate garden gnomes. I'm thinking of doing this. So. It's the wrong, wrong, wrong one. There we go. It's David the Garden Gnome. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Apparently, in this video, in this video, this is recording. One of the <laughs> one of the dudes, one of the dudes filming says it's a penguin. Uh, 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 this is from chat. I don't know if this is true or not. But apparently, the guys like wait, it's a penguin. Send pinguino. <laughs> where the fuck? Where the fuck? Uh, do you see a wild penguin just be knocking about? <laughs> oh my god, oh, that's hysterical! My god. <sighs> okay, well they have him in Chile, Chile and Argent Argentina. Really? Really? Where? But, but, <laughs> that's not in the Northern Hemisphere. <laughs> what are you talking about? The South. They call Humboldt penguins. I had no idea about this. It's very chilly and chilly. Shut up! Shut up, alright? Shut up. This 
This is a, this is a, this is a ridiculous. This is a ridiculous segment. Uh, well, there we go, guys. That's um, that's a classic video. Everybody knows and recognizes. But uh, you know, we we have so many doing the videos to get through tonight. Um, but that's a classic that started all. I don't remember what year that was from, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, Christmas. Okay. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, classic, classic video. Uh, I don't know what else to say about it except can we follow up with another classic? That's the question. Well, I think we can. Because, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the future. We're in the future now of vertical shot videos. Which means that, uh, you know, it's not going to look too great, but here we go. This video is called Duende en Espinar Cusco. Um, what is this video? I don't know, but it's at Costco. Let's stretch this video. Let's make this look good for this segment. There we go. Now, that's how you do it, okay? Grandma doesn't know how to make a 4x3 video into 16x9. Just... There we go. Can't tell the difference. Well, there we go, guys. So people are running. People are running from the duende. Okay, first of all, I know that I think in Mexico, in, in fact, they have a bull running thing. Uh, the bull running thing is um, like an annual tradition. Um, where they release a bull in a city. Oh, that's Spain. That's Spain, actually. It's Spain, okay. Um, What's so crazy about it is that people get really fucked up over about it. Um, I saw something about TV on it, and they release a bull, and the bull runs to the city, uh, and it's fucking nuts, okay? Now, I'm not talking about, like, um, bullfighting here. I'm talking about they just release a, a, a wild bull, and, uh, yeah, they it, it's nuts. They just run. They just run from this bull. So, um, you know, but anyway. Oh, no, no, no. No, no. <laughs> that duende is, is as big as a chicken nugget, all right? <laughs> you cannot tell me that, like, fully grown men is getting the fuck out of here running. You would punt the fucking thing like a soccer ball. And he would just fly. Okay. You would... What? Okay, if this thing was like nine feet tall, I'd be fucking running too. But this... What? Was that him? Wait, hang on. Wait, is that him? That's... That's it. Okay, let's see. On the left there. Because I wonder... Why is he coming from the right? But that's him. That's him. He's so tiny! Okay. I know. No, no. And then he comes from he comes from the right here, alright? He comes from the right here, you know. And it's very scary. It's very, very scary. <gasps> that's him. That's him. Someone said that's a lizard. Is it? With the video so poorly shot, it might as well be. It could also be a penguin. So I said, that's a mouse. <laughs> okay, for, <laughs> first of all, first of all, if you're gonna apply that kind of idiotic logic, then it's just gonna turn into this again. You know. Okay, that, that, an evil mouse, it's Tom and Jerry, it's Stuart no, Little coming no, no. here to stab ya! <laughs> okay... <laughs> um... Alright, um... Th this, vi this video is, is, like, s it, it, it really could be anything. It really could be anything, you know, uh, but but the, the question is always like, is this done with CGI or whatever? 
with these videos, I don't think they need CGI, okay? All they are is like, they just released like a gecko in the streets and they're just like, okay, run, 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 run. You know, uh, but some of these videos tonight might, may, may be a little edited in CGI. I'm not sure, but uh, it's pretty good, pretty good. He's just looking for toes, dude. This guy is looking for toes. I know. No, no. Dude, I would fucking. I would do this. I would go up to him. I would go up to him right here. I'd sneak up on him and I fucking kick him so hard that he would shatter into a million pieces. And then. Okay. Um, <laughs> unbelievable. But hey, you know what? If you're in the right mood, that video could be scary. And I would say this, if you're the person sitting inside a house, looking outside the window and people are running down the street, it doesn't matter what the fuck it is. It could be a cloud in the sky that has a happy face. Okay, you will still freak out because it's like the the the, uh, the reaction of seeing other people run away fear that it doesn't matter what it is. You know, you'd be afraid too. You know, you wouldn't even get near him. Don't act tough. Okay, well, for comparison, for comparison. Okay. You see, you see, you see, understand here. Okay, man. Duende. Okay, not that big. So theoretically, theoretically, right? It, 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 you, you, no, 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 no. Si se da cuenta y cambia. Pirlo, afinando, ya cobra, pelota por arriba. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, okay, I'm just saying, okay. <laughs> Rats carry the seas. Yeah, but this, this is a duende, so it's a different size comparison, okay? What if they know how to fight? Okay, I would... <laughs> I have a video about that. There's a video that I have sent in here where someone fights a duende, okay? There's combat in one of these videos. There's a war going on, a duende war in one of these videos. I'm gonna show that video next, but I'm gonna do a little quick BRB. So sit tight, more uh, boo tube coming up. So don't go nowhere. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We are back here in the uh, spooky zone, you know, watching more duende videos. And, uh, you know, we, we've had a couple good ones so far. We have had a couple good ones. We started off kind of weird <laughs> with just a picture of a duende, but that set the mood. You know, it was the calm before the storm. So, uh, but yes, let's keep on going here. I'm not going to be showing the, the duende war video up next because um, there's many, many videos here. There's many, many videos. Okay. Um, this one, this one is a little special. This is a, um, a longer video. It's a longer video, in fact. Um, this video is around, let's see here, about two minutes, actually. It's not that long. It's not that long. But um, this one is just called Actividad Paranormal. So, Duende, um, here we go. Let's see what this one is all about. It's a, it's a more modern video, in fact. That's that's a little rare. It's a little more 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 um, contemporary. No more no more of those uh, crusty videos, I guess. But here we go. Let's let's see what this one is all about. This is a guy taking a dirt nap. <laughs> you just fell asleep. Oh, there, there might be duende holes here. They might have found his home. Okay, he's seen a duende. Okay. 
Okay. He's saying, you know, my guy down here, he stole my toes, and I'm gonna get him back. Somebody said that's a footprint. I don't know, we're gonna find out. It's in the middle of the forest here. It's in the middle of the forest. Okay, he's been digging too, so he's got, you know, uh, like dirt all over his hands. The, the, these woods are kind of creepy, look at that. <laughs> it is a vertical video, but like switched out. I guess he doesn't want to get dirt on the phone by flipping it. Okay, okay. Okay, so there, there's something in these holes. It could be any sort of hole, but these are duende holes, okay? The guy is an expert. Okay, it's it's very paranormal. He's talking to his buddy. Oh, watch the woods, watch the woods! There might be a duende in there! Or mine in the hole. Okay, so something might be coming here. Okay, nothing yet. Nothing yet. I feel him. I feel my duende alarm going off. No, 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 the video ends, the video... That was a guy in the forest digging a hole, saying it was a duende. Okay, that... But the guy is claiming these are duende footprints, okay? He's only talking... But apparently that is a footprint, but that's a raccoon. Okay. Wait wait a goddamn minute. Raccoon footprint. <laughs> okay, uh Mmm. I'm not saying it's specifically a raccoon, but uh could be a cat too. Um but you know, this this is a real video, so I how can I be skeptical? My my question is this: these woods are more interesting than the footprints themselves. You know, the, the, the these woods are more creepy. You know, um, somebody linked me up this. A raccoon footprints can also look like this. You know. So, uh, I guess there's a difference, but, uh, you know, uh, I'm not an expert. This guy's an expert. Maybe, maybe there's something in this video I haven't seen yet. Like, the duende is scuffling off in the distance. You know, and it, the footprints are incidental, you know. But really, he's out in the woods, walking. Mm-hmm. Um, the scariest thing right now is that the, the leaf looks like it has a face on it. You see it? <laughs> Do you see what I'm seeing? Two eyes, nose, and a mouth. I think we see the duende. <laughs> Do you see him too? That's the evil banana. Okay? He snuck in. <laughs> it's a duende. Du no, 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 no. You know what that is? You know what that is? Ladies and gentlemen, we have we have made an ast amazing discovery here on YouTube Spooky Night. Ladies and gentlemen, Duende Real. Duende Real, okay? We have made the Hyrule connection, all right? When when Link was sneaking around, you know, he made an astounding discovery that the Koroks are in fact Duendes. All right? They will steal the Triforce of Power. They will take your toes. Wahaha. Okay, um... <laughs> okay. Now, of course, I'm not a skeptic. But I'm just saying, maybe, maybe? Because these videos are real. But maybe he, this guy said to his friend, Hey, you want to go, like, shoot a video in the woods and say that uh, this poo that's left on the ground belongs to the wind? And he's like, okay. Uh, but th that's not, of course, what happened here. These these are real videos. Holy shit, I just realized. Guys, I was looking at the wrong thing all along. I was looking at the holes at the bottom. Holy shit, I just got the video, guys. 
Look, if I flip the video, then you see it. You see footprint here and footprint there. I didn't fucking see it. I thought it was like the holes there. I, I thought it was just like, we know. Yeah, but I thought, dude, I'm serious. I'm serious. I totally missed it. I didn't see these fucking things. Wow. <laughs> wow. Small eyes. Wait, actual, no, actually, I didn't see it. Because I, I thought it was just like random dirt. I didn't see him. Okay, but my point still stands. Again, real video. But I think this guy took his fingers. That's why he, there's dirt on his hands. And he went... <laughs> and made a little thing. Uh, no, of course, that's not what happened. But, you know... Uh, So it's authentic, he says. It's authentic. Yeah. Now the question is, where is the other footprint? Usually it would lead somewhere, right? Because we're tracking, tracking prints like that or whatever. Doesn't that go places? Maybe, 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 maybe he covered his tracks. It can fly, I guess. Maybe he went into the hole. Because, you know, we, we learned that when they can change size at will. You know, uh, when they went creative mode. Okay, okay, okay. Joel, why would he upload this video if it wasn't real? That's That's true, that's true. Okay, well there we go guys. That's that's Dwen the Footprints. Okay. It's got big old toes. And I'm wondering, does Dwen they steal toes? Because his own is so fucked up. Judging from how the hands are shaped, it could be an animal that climbs or jumps. Maybe. Maybe. But uh now we know that th there's footprints of this thing, but it's inconsistent. It's inconsistent. Because we know they, they either can look like Stuart Littles, but I guess it's regional, depending on the breed of the wind there. You know, in the Mariana Islands, it's a little different. In, you know, Latin America, it's a little different. Spain is different. So they, they all have different, like, th things going on for them, you know. They're, they're locally shaped, <laughs> okay? But, uh, interesting, interesting video. I really didn't see the footprint. I really didn't. Like a subspecies of Duende. Okay. Maybe. Well, uh, good to know. We're getting one step closer to this mystery. We're, we're gonna, at the end of all of these, we will have a opinion. We're gonna have an opinion. Now, I'm always gonna say that it's real, but I'm gonna let you guys decide if these videos conclude evidence that this is real yes or no you know so um interesting but you know what we have a video here we have a video here up ahead that may give us some more insight into this whole phenomenon because this one is just called duendes exist this is a this is a conclusive video that will definitely show okay this video is about eight minutes Eight minutes. Okay. It's gonna be a big video. Is this conclusive evidence? Okay. okay. Uh, Fuck, am I looking at? <laughs> okay. First of all, let's see that from the beginning. Assalamu alaikum, marhaba shabab. Today we come to this video. This video is shared for a long time on the internet in a strange way. It's been shared for thousands of millions. This video is about it. That the army is coming, coming, coming. This is the army of Iran. Okay, so this might be Duende from Iran. Uh, I don't know what language is, if this is Farsi or if it's whatever, uh, but I know this. 
there's a duende on screen. Um. Um. And I can say this. <laughs> this better not be a little monkey, okay? Um. But let's keep watching the video. Because that certainly moves like a little more. But hey, real video. Oh, oh, hang on. <laughs> He's fleeing. Oh, fuck, what's this? Okay, that was one video. This is a complete. Oh my god. Is it the same thing? Is it the same thing? Okay, that. That. That is 100% Duende, okay? That is Duende, okay? That is Duende. Come on! Okay, okay. The hell? <laughs> What's going on? What? What, what, what am I looking at? What, what's happening? Uh, <laughs> he picked up the duende, and the duende is just going like, what the fuck? He grabbed him. Do the boss on this guy? Hang on. Okay. Um. When he was picking him up... Hang on. Okay, it's the same video again. Okay. What is... Well, what the fuck is... Who was that? Oh, okay, you know what? This right here is this. Okay, what's, what's this music? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, is, what am I looking at? Is that Bigfoot? Is that, is that, is that Duende up close? Is that the face of Duende? Okay. Oh shit, Michael Jackson! A moonwalking skogan! Oh shit! Someone said small foot. Okay, something about... Okay, okay, what's this? <gasps> Duende in the box! Oh fuck, oh fuck, I was just talking about this! Holy shit, look! Duende in the box! They have a live Duende here, and Duende hates this! Duende hates being picked up! He's going... Okay. Now, you guys were saying, don't mess with Duende. Duende will throw hands? But Duende can't do shit when he's picked up. He's like a kitty cat. Like a kid when you grab him in the uh, in the neck and, you know, they, they're just like, totally like, I, I can't do nothing about this, you know? Don't pet the Duende, okay? That's, that's, that's mean, okay? Now, maybe this is a baby duende. <laughs> Alright, maybe this duende is not fully grown. Alright, it's like, you know, you wouldn't want to do this with a full grown tiger, for example. But, like, this baby duende has been robbed from his home. And then, uh, you know, uh, du duendino bambino. <laughs> oh, sorry. There's something with his hands. Uh,. <laughs> There's something with his hands that, like, just screams this. <laughs> Remove the batteries on the Duende Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> let him go. Okay, put him, put him, put him, put, let him walk. Just stop it. He hates it. He hates it. Okay, put him back in the box. 
Yeah, put him back. He hates the. <laughs> Just let him go. <laughs> you know what it looks like? You know what it looks like? What, what, what sound this guy would make? This. Unfucking believable. <sighs> okay, uh. I still have audio, but the guy stopped talking, but uh, there we go. Yeah, he's he is just He hates it. It looks like he's got little like um, Diving flip or something. Yeah, put him back. Put him back <laughs> Go on Facebook <laughs> Go on the Facebook. Okay um, Is that it for the video? Back in the box um, Duende in the box <laughs> Okay, this video is like falling apart. <laughs> okay, the, the framer just hit the shitter, but uh. Hey guys, welcome back to my Duende unboxing. Duende crate. Get five off on your next Duende purchase when you put in Fecal Funny. Okay. Someone said the box does not have air holes. Wait, what's this? What's this? It's new video. <laughs> he grew up. He grew up. Okay. <laughs> Haircut. Get him a haircut. God damn. Okay, dude, dude, if you shave, if you shave him, if you shave him, he's gonna turn into me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> There's a dollar for scale. <laughs> oh god damn it. Okay, well, keep going. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's not that big. <laughs> okay. Okay, now we have this. Oh, 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 oh. Holy but Okay, the, the other guy, the other species of duende there, he was just taking a nap. This is a wild duende, okay? Wild duende in the house. Okay. Okay, dude, duende just ran off. Duende just ran off. Damn, he's fast. Okay. <laughs> first of all, first of all, Duende has a shirt on. Um. <laughs> um. So Duende. I don't know how, how this went. Maybe Duende makes his own clothes. Or maybe this guy owns the Duende. But someone in the chat says, Scrappy Doo looking idiot. <laughs> um, okay, okay. Now. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Okay, um. Okay, he's hiding in the furniture, and uh, now he's... Okay, now... <laughs> no, uh... What is that... What is that one monkey I'm thinking of?
Okay, guys, I spent I spelt uh, capuchin ca capuchin monkey as clambuchin. <laughs> okay, now, of course, I would never, I would never ever insinuate that this is somehow related. Of course not. But you know, I I'm just saying. Wait, wait, we might get a good view here. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay. But he doesn't have a tail, you know? He doesn't have a tail. Who knows? <laughs> it's just... <laughs> okay, well, moving on. This goes on and on and on. But there he is. <laughs> السلام عليكم لا تنسوا الاعجاب بالفيديو والاشتراك في القناة تشجيعا لنا لنستمر بنشر المزيد ان شاء الله اذا كنت من المتابعين الجدد اشترك الان في القناة This is my favorite doing the channel it's good good content احمر اسفل القناة مع تفعيل الجرس hit that bell hit that bell for more duende okay خليكم هيك زبات okay well as you can see as you can see there is That is straight up. That is straight up the worst video. <laughs> Cause that is that is a, this is a monkey. No, no, these are vi real videos. This is a subspecies of duende. Okay, found in Iran, and it is coincidence that it moves and looks like a little boingy boof monkey. Okay, so uh, I'm I'm just saying. I'm just saying this is. Incidental as fuck, you know. Um, but but the question remains: Could this guy right here? Could this guy right here be descendants of the secret Duende Wars of two thousand three? Could the genetic material have been spliced in a laboratory and leaked out in the wild? For them to lay eggs. And thus a new subspecies of Duende was given birth. Who knows? I say, I say yes. I say yes. I say yes. Five little Duendes jumping on the bed. Um, Phil a cheesesteak in chat says, I have proof of the first duende. Can I send you the image? Go ahead. There's someone in chat that owns a duende. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, there is a real image of duende here. It's a real image of duende here. And, um... For some reason, I can't drag this image into um, XSplit. Okay. Uh, so you'll never see this image. Okay. This image is. No, can't you? It's like a WebP. It is a holy image. Okay. Cheesesteak, if you can get this image not uploaded on like Image Shack. <laughs> Go ahead. I have no idea why you wouldn't use the image you are. Okay. <laughs> if a check. Okay. Um, convert WebP to JPEG. You screenshot. No, we cannot screenshot. Because you know what? Screenshots. As they say, if you slow down footage. It invalidates the truth. Okay. Can't do it. Can't do it, man. So true, bestie. But we're going to uh, wait about this image because uh, you blew your chance. You blew your chance. 
Okay, well, that was one of the, the Duende videos here, everybody. Here's the image. Guys, I'm, I'm warning you right now, this might be a little uh, shocking for some viewers. So. Um, I'm warning you now, if you're watching this video, if you're watching this live, cover your eyes for 10 seconds. In three seconds, I'm gonna say, close your eyes, okay? One, two, three. I'm gonna take the image away in five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. You may look. Oh shit! Duende Tornado! That's a silver one, rare one. <laughs> okay, moving on. We have this video. Um, I'm gonna show you this one. <laughs> And this one is called El. This is sent, all these videos are sent in, by the way. El Duende se a mi casa. Okay, what is this? The video won't load. Okay, what is this? Okay, uh, we have the flash. What in the fuck is this? Uh, <laughs> the flash is now looking for doing this. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is this? Uh familiar super vio que algo muy extraño se estaba escondiendo. Now I want to say that uh <laughs> I want to say that this is a real video. But I'm a little skeptical when the Hulk shows up. Okay? Um, but let's keep going. I'm a little bit more skeptical when a clown shows up on the roof, but it's a real video. The video ends. Who sent this in? Who sent this in? Y su familia del super vio que algo muy extraño se estaba escondiendo en ese lugar. Comenta si crees que hagas algo malo que los está persiguiendo. Who the fuck said that? It has nothing to do with Duende whatsoever. You have, you have to stick by the rules of Spooky YouTube Video Night, okay? You missed him. Where is he? I'm not playing this video. I'm not playing this after this. There's a clown blow up doll on the roof. And the Hulk and the Flash, you know. But look, look at this. Look, there's an arrow saying, watch, watch on the right, watch on the right. Is that, is that the Duende on the floor? Did you see it? What are you talking about? I see it. What, the underwear? Guys, it's a real Duende video. That, that's a Duende. That's a Duende right there. That is a real Duende. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. That video did have a Duende after all. Okay. Now, the scariest thing about this video is the fact that there is um, a clothes pin here that looks... special anyway uh, moving on everybody moving on ladies and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen we have this ladies and gentlemen this is a top 10 
real goblins caught on tape and spotted in real life. It's a long video. Strap in. Now, this is a this is a Duende expert. Is a Duende expert? He's kind of like the History Channel when they bring in somebody with like an eye patch, and their resume looks like uh, it was scribbled on a McDonald's napkin. But that doesn't matter. This guy is an expert. This is top ten video world. Okay. What is goblins? <laughs> Goblin is a monstrous creature first attempt. Shit. It's a, if, if I had a if I had a black monitor right now, this would be the reflection on my face right now. Oh my god, that caught me off guard. <laughs> what is goblins? Goblin is Is that from Labyrinth? That's from Labyrinth! That's a David Bowie movie. Oh my god, okay. Real. It's a monstrous creature first attested from the Middle Ages. Uh -huh. They have ascribed various and conflicting abilities, temperaments, and appearances uh -huh. depending on the story and country of origin. They are almost always small and grotesque, mischievous, or... A <sighs> Did they just show the Harry Potter stuff? Like, this, this, is, this is the Harry Potter goblins, okay? Are you say, are you seriously implying that the the <laughs> the goblins the gobos are <laughs> small and grotesque, mischievous, or outright evil and greedy? Okay. Especially for gold and jewelry, they often have magical abilities similar to a. F I straight up thought she had no bra on and she had like giant pepperoni nipples, and I'm like, I can't show this. I can't show this. Okay, that's 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 a sex twin there. Okay, Very can't show that. Even. Here are top 10 real goblins caught on camera. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> okay, I, I have... Hang on. There we go. But it is similar to a fairy or demon. Here are top 10 real goblins caught on camera. 10 goblins caught on tape and spotted in real life. <coughs> Tree goblin. <laughs> in this video, goblin sighting clip was posted in 2016. In this mystery video clip, I'm sorry. I have like fucking severe brain damage. This is it three goblin? <laughs> There's, these are official categories, ladies and gentlemen. Official, okay. Uh, fuck it, just play it. and eyewitness ventures into the woods. <laughs> a goblin figure in a large hole of the tree trunk. The figure appears to be motionless in the first moment shot. But uh -huh. in the second, it appears to be using a wooden cane. Many commenters responded with skepticism, claiming that uh -huh. the video is fake. But that's him. He's got a big old nose. But where, where's the cane? Others claim to see the possible goblins. What do you think about this video? <laughs> There's a tree. There's a, there, no. It's a magical wise tree. Where, what's the, where's the cane? Unless I'm seeing something different you guys. Goblin. Yeah, that's what I saw. That's what I saw. Goblin in house. Ha 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 
<laughs> guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That spooky YouTube video that is so terrible right now. In this creepy footage, purports to show the moment a tiny goblin emerged from thin. Wait, wait. This is a Marcianito video. This is a Marcianito video. All right. This. This right here is not a duende, okay? There's a Marcianito running across here in the on the tiles. I remember this, okay? I remember this. Yeah, and ran through a kitchen alongside yes. a toddler. The Interference. Yeah. The was filmed in Argentina and initially shows the youngster talking to himself and playing on the floor. <laughs> Suddenly, a little figure appears behind the young boy named Benjamin and runs quickly towards Benjamin. one of the counters before escaping into the garden. Okay, the video look. maker Sylvia said, the spooky creature left behind a nausea. I mean, that, that's what it is. The maker Sylvia said, the spooky creature left behind a nauseating smell and of course some terrifying footage on her camera. This viral video, which has racked up hundreds of thousands of views, and as many skeptics. <laughs> okay, he nauseated smell. He farted. <sighs> A nauseated smell. Okay, well, that. <laughs> I'm sorry. By the way, he runs, not from the side. He runs fr from like left of the baby's head. <laughs> yeah. Goblin caught in ground. A group of children have been left too terrified to play football after they believe they spotted a goblin on their pitch. Eerie mm -hmm. footage filmed by one of the youngsters shows the group running happily around the pitch after the ball until the filmer suddenly spots what appears oh. to be a mysterious figure at the side. Oh, yo, yo, yo. dark shape crawls slowly forwards. Okay. Moments later, the boy begins screaming at the top of his lungs, and uh, he and his pals run madly away from the creature in a uh, desperate bid to escape. This footage was uh, released in February 2017. Uh, what do you think about this video? Uh, is it goblin or not? <laughs> is it goblin or not? <laughs> Guys, is it goblin or not? Bob, would you say? Is it goblin or not? Yes. Yeah, it is. It is. It is goblin. I say no. Inconclusive, because you know what? We're not looking for green gobbles. Okay, we are looking not for leprechauns or gnomes. We're looking for duende. Okay, yeah. I I would say this is thirty percent duende, but his his mannerisms isn't too toe like. Please scream Duende. <laughs> Duende! You know, I will say this. I will say this. This video. This might have been perfect if they started playing soccer with the Duende. Could you imagine the intercontinental friendship we could have with these creatures, you know. Like, why not shoot the ball at him? Goblin in room. <laughs> in the video, two boys are playing with a football when so Yeah, I notice, I notice there's a lot of these that relate to soccer or football. Uh, I know, you know, soccer is very popular around the world. But why the hell is nobody incorporating the soccer with the duende? Because, you know, sports doesn't have a language, right? So, whatever mystical language that the duende speaks could be broken down with, you know, some fun. Okay? Duende soccer. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Suddenly a mysterious small creature. Too upright and skinny to be a cat or a dog, runs uh -huh. through the doorway, immediately frightening the young boy. The image is so fleeting that I'm sorry that <laughs> no positive identification can be made as to whether a real. Okay, this is a, this is a rare this is a rare one. That is straight up. That is straight up. This, I mean, I. I Unmistaken! Life Goblin has infested the boys' playroom. Yes, it exactly looked like Goblin. 
Uh, that's it. That's it. That is it. Infested. Infested with gobos. Look at him. He rises and he goes, you know. And... He rises and he goes. Okay. Guys, that's a real video. That is a real video. Definitely. Okay. Goblin behind the wall. In this video, two children were standing backside of the house at the end of the garden. They suddenly saw a strange creature behind the wall. <laughs> they go to see that what is a strange figure appears to be wall and then hidden. They were okay. frightened to see that. Uh -huh. When they decided to be closely seen, that mysterious small brown clad creature is found quickly scurrying behind a wall. <laughs> okay, dude, this guy's saying a lot of words. And I, I understand it's in English, but what he's saying is not fucking getting in my head. It's like he's speaking English, but it, I, I understand what he's saying. And the people saw their thing, and then they said, like, he's, you know, I, I, I know it's tech to speech, okay? I understand that. But like, what he's saying is so abrasively rapid that it might be like Dwen Denise. Like, I, I, what? Oh, they were shocked to see that figure looked like a goblin. <laughs> yes, it's a goblin like creature captured in this video. Uh huh. It's gonna pop out. Okay, that's just a very, very small man. Okay, I, I, but I'm still gonna say it's paranormal because this, this is a, this is a, this is a, this is a man that was shrunken down by a wizard. Okay, that is, that is it. Okay, because he's he's got hair, you know. He's he's got like a like a like a T-shirt on, and he's got uh, you know a haircut. That's Vinny. Okay. Dwayne the has here. No, that's why he's got a head on. He tries to hide the ball spot. So said, I think a Duende made this video. Why else would they need to use TTS? That's a that's a good one. See, see what I mean? That's just a man. Goblin beside the tree. <laughs> In this video. <laughs> Guys. Duende real. Cyber Duende. <sighs> Play the video. A woman Mary Sampras in 2016 videographer is filming a woman pointing a camera back at him or her. Always a neat trick. But the attempt at a clever feedback loop of camera on camera is soon forgotten. As oh. a mysterious small red clad creature is found quickly scurrying behind a tree. Oh. Moments later, what may be a goblin or a gnome is seen potentially camouflaging itself in the He couldn't see me. Full weeds and foliage, imitating plant life in predator-like fashion. <sighs> These two individuals are getting quite advanced. But with its humanoid shape still visible, what do you say about this video? I say, why did the predator laugh at the end of Predator? Like, he's not evil. Why would he laugh like, you know, Vincent Price? Like he, he, it might sound like he starts laughing like Billy, like ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. ho ho, but then he goes into ah, 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 you know, no, 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 no. Why would he do that? Okay, whatever. Okay, I can barely see what's in this video, but I'm gonna say it's Goblin a real. Or human like creature. <laughs> That's just fucking insulting. Okay, imagine being reported to like the FBI. For looking paranormal, but you're just really ugly. <coughs> this, this, a dwind. Please, Mulder and Scully, come. This <laughs> is just, no, I'm just ugly. In this video, three guys were going on the countryside road on bikes. Okay. They are moving faster on bikes and suddenly a very strange and horrifying creature running fast forwards them. They shock led to see that and stop their bikes. Okay, just a little question. Is this video blurred to show him more? Or is that what it looks like? Because that's a Marisanita taking a wicked shit in the middle of the forest. And don't understand what they see creepily human like creature. Okay, okay, when okay. They decided they follow the. That, that, okay, 
Okay. Again, I'm not trying to be skeptical, but there's a slight nuance where I want to say that this is just a naked dude. It's just a naked dude, and I think it's very, very insulting of these people not to, to not only be videotaping the man. Creepy creature, and they reach that spot where the creature was hidden. They are searching pushes, and they do not find that creature, who looked like a goblin. No. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Okay, but it's real. It's real, guys. It's real. It's real. Goblin or child? I'm sorry, but whatever the shit is. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, new segment. Goblin or child? In another video, that's Paul Blart. Station is the that's Paul Blart. Mysterious incident that seems to alarm a female security guard. Okay. A portly woman is seen carrying what appears to be a child, but as uh -huh. a small humanoid turns to face the camera, its face is revealed to be horrifyingly as hen and colored a dark shade of green, with spot like what? pointy ears as a bonus. What, 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 is this parent carrying a real child? Is it some type of optical illusion? Or is this another worldly creature in the care of a Latin American bus traveler? That's Mr. Bean. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> How fucking insulting. I mean, I hate the real video. Real video. Where's the ears? Where was the point? The ears? What are you talking about? You know what this looks like? It looks like. Hang on. Like a, like a mini me? And it looks like. Like Spock? It looks like Spock, right? But with like a mustache, like this. Hang on. <laughs> well, maybe not like that, but you understand what I'm trying to say, though, right? That, that's that's it. That's it. I mean, I know Evil Spock had a beard, but this is more like a mustache. But you, you understand what I mean. But, uh, real video, real video, real video. Oh, no, 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 damn it, I was gonna... Spock, you done it again. Okay. Sorry, I need, I need to put this video on again. Sorry, my bad. What is Goblin? <laughs> goblin is a monstrous creature first attested from the middle Okay, I don't want to skip too much. The top in room. Uh -huh. Yes, it is all. Moments late. In what appears to there be a go. child, but as a small humanoid turns to face the camera, its face is revealed to be horrifyingly as hen and colored a dark shade of green. Uh, what? What? With Spock like pointy ears as a. He. Wait, he said Spock like pointy ears. I, I, I missed that. Okay, okay, we were both thinking the same thing. Spock like ears. Bonus. Is this parent carrying a real child? Is it some type of optical illusion? Okay, the question was goblin or child? What do you guys think? Or is this another worldly creature in the care of a Latin American bus traveler? Goblin, 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 goblin. It's decided, it's goblin. It's goblin. It's goblin. Definitely goblin. Definitely goblin. Are goblin real? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fucking die. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> Guys, can we get a straw poll going? I'm gonna put a straw poll in chat. There's like two straw poles, but this one looks like shit, and the one that is good. Is this the real straw pole? 
Straw poll died? Okay. Is, is it strawpoll.com? Our goblin real. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. Here we go, guys. Vote. Go vote. Let's let's see. Let's see what you guys are saying. Guys, this drop hole sucks. <laughs> this sucks. We will never know. Use Twitch poll? I don't know how to do Twitch polls. <laughs> I don't have one of the bots around. No, 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 no. Okay, guys, 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 we, we do have this. We do have this. Um. There's a live result dummy. Poll results are here. Oh, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hmm. Wow. Well, I'll say this. Uh, are Goblin real? Uh, it's not showing up on screen. It's censored, but I can show you this. Uh, 682 people. Actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. Thank you, thank you. Check this out. Are Goblin real? Yeah or no? 83% massively dominating the polls here. Presenting in fact that Goblin real, yeah. There's 16% skeptics out there. But I think I know where the gobos hide. This red thing right here. That pizza slice. That is what you gotta watch out for. There's 128 gobos here. Watch out. Be aware. Be mindful. In the video a boy and his sister are playing with a football when suddenly a mysterious small creature, too upright and skinny to be a cat or a dog, runs through the doorway, mm -hmm. immediately frightening the young boy. The image okay. is so fleeting, that no positive identification can be made as to whether a real life goblin has infested the children's playroom. <laughs> okay, here's a quick question. They keep using the word infested. And infested is like something you would like use if you have like a um, infestation of ants or whatever. But it, it, could you imagine like looking at an apartment or whatever and they say like, yeah, it, it's really goblin infested here though. It's like, why? It's a goblin infestation? What does that mean? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> My question is, is this a goblin infested chat room? Yes. Well, because I know you guys. I know you guys. I know you guys. Always talking shit. You're always talking shit. But I'm going to say this. Sixteen percent. I'm pretty spooked. Goblin on the road. In the video, children were playing with a football on the road at night. They suddenly saw a something strange creature was running on the road. This mysterious small brownish clad creature was running and crossed the road. 
Children's were searching that strange creature, they looks everywhere, and could not find this goblin like creature. Children puts the stones in their hands, and finding this creature, but they did not see again goblin on the road. What is this man saying? I, I, I've totally zoned out for what the fuck you're trying to say. I have no idea what he's saying. Goblin on the road. Stones. Like, what? Where's the duende? Wait, wait, he might be sneaking around here. That's the duende? Okay, that is... That, I, I think we saw this duende earlier, everybody. I think we saw this duende earlier. You know, we saw we saw this guy roaming around and, uh, you know, we did. That's the same duende, you know? I don't know. Okay. Well, you know, it's a real video, though. It's a real video, so, you know, um, he's running, he's running. He's running. If you like my video, don't forget like and subscribe my channel. Let us comments below. Ladies and gentlemen, that was 10 Duende videos. Um, all I gotta say is... Goblin or child. Um, very, very interesting. Very interesting stuff here, everybody. Very interesting stuff. Now, a lot of you guys... A lot of you guys... Um, Obviously, you know, you're quite afraid of the duende, you know, and I, I, I'm, I'm passive about the duende. But as I said before, there are people out there, there are people out there who has taken up arms against duende, that want to defend themselves against duende. Ladies and gentlemen, this is duende war. We have first contact. This is a big breed of duende, and he speaks. Now, I need someone who is fluent in duende. What did he say? He just said, I'm going to kill you. Ladies and gentlemen, Duende has started first contact, but he's also started the war. Dun 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 dun. Okay, so obviously these two guys are like, holy shit. While Duende, he just incited violencia. What is gonna go happen? <laughs> and they're saying. <laughs> oh. Um. <laughs> um. Duende was the first to throw words around him. But then the the man, the men, uh, started firing the bullets. Um. Show the corpse! Show the corpse! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! That's real. That is real. Oh my god. Okay, guys, we have a real Duende corpse here. Okay, yeah. They need to get this thing to the cops so they can, um, you know, uh, stick a stick in it and poke it. Guys, that was a real video. Uh, that was a real video. As you can see, as you can see, you know, um, he's smoking. 
He's smoking everybody. Yeah. You convinced me, Joey. I don't need to convince you. Because these videos are real. All I gotta say is this, guys. All I, all I gotta say is this. Um, barbecued with bullets. He reminds me of the E.T. being cooked. Okay, maybe we can watch that on a... Uh, on a video, on a night where we don't watch Duende anymore, but I will say this. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have watched a lot of Duende videos tonight, and I know you guys are like, my god, is this ever gonna end? Because this segment is so good. Um, we're closing in more and more to conclusive evidence here, but I need to show you something here. Yeah. This is... Um, a video I have to show you guys um, might be a little longer video here here we go I think it's the same guy who saw the footprints it's a duende home we have located where they live is that, a, is that a mandarin in your hand? Duende like fruit, okay? Duende like fruit, okay? They like mandarina, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, duendes cannot resist mandarins. We know that now. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Perfecto, y que tengo buenas intenciones para con él. Ya que voy a comenzar a hacer investigaciones en esta casita. If you guys wanna, if you guys wanna avoid duende tonight, do not eat mandarins, okay? Big disclaimer on this stream: avoid mandarins. Don't do it. Unless you are the duende. Para que la gente no venga a tratar de, pues ya saben, destruir, porque regularmente las personas malas cuando saben que that's hay alguna a duende, No, that's a mandarin. Lo primero que piensan es, quiero destruir a ese duende. I love peeling these things. Quiero quemar su casita. Y pues, como todos sabemos, esto Now, I know, I know you guys are saying, like, this, pues this no could be a mole no hole. Malos. This could be son anything. This could be a hobbit hole for all, all, all everybody knows. Duendecito. But... But as we know, as we know, the moment you put a mandarin outside the the hole of the duende, that's when he should reveal himself. Okay, okay. Oh, oh fuck, it. don't zoom in. Okay, okay, okay. Watch out, watch out. A ver, vamos a poner el otro cachito. Bueno, así. Vamos a hacer el experimento así. A ver si el duendecito se la puede He's llevar. Made Don't throw the whole thing out. No, no, no. You threw all the bait out. Pequeño. Oh, you idiot. What are you doing? Con mucho cariño, te oh, now we, now we can survive the winter, man. No, what the hell? Y yo soy muy you just gave bonito. him, like, all the ammo. Espero que hagamos una bonita amistad. Amigos, es muy raro. Amateur, man. El video no tiene ningún tipo de corte. He has been fed. Y si se fijan... Okay. The question is, will a little duende hand come crawling out? Joshy says, no, Joel, you misunderstand. It was a Donkey Kong 64 grenade. <laughs> Crawl in the hole! Crawl in the hole! You can do it! I love fruit. Okay. You standing outside is not going to make him come out, though. Okay. You need to set up, like, a, a system here of a camera, you know. Duendes only come out at night at 3 a.m. We know this. We know this. This is scientific. Duende friendly. So this is a friend of Duende, you think? Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, well, here we go. Progress of time. <gasps> at night. At night. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. And my main man over here has oh got a my. fucking uranium counter. Uh, or like a Duende alert box. Um. Um. El Duende. Duende detector. Okay. Duende detector has been uh, bought at the local store. And. <laughs> Si hay algún tipo de elemental que quiera comunicarse conmigo, puede hacerlo en este instante right. a través de este aparato. Mm. The classic Texas instrument, Duen Detector. Cookman. Okay, I don't know what he's saying, but it sounds like he's saying Cookman. And in uh, Swedish, that means Cockman. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Pequeñín, estás aquí? Back, man. Okay. Azul. All right. Uh, Six minutes left of this video, by the way. So, um, there's gonna be conclusive evidence with this one, you know. Uh, all right. So he's looking around the forest here. Looking for the duende. It's pretty terrifying, though. I gotta say, six minutes of this hell. Me estoy acercando a la ca... Miren, miren, miren. A la... Miren, miren, miren. So, I'm not sure what kind of device that is. Esto no se puede manipular, eh. But... Esto es extraño. It's gotta be... It's gotta be detecting duende activity Esto somehow. A la casita del duende. Metal duende solid. Azul. It's a calculator? Seriously, what is it? It's a Casio calculator. No. No, it's not. Okay, okay, he's looking into, into the duende hole. He might be coming out here. It's a spirit box. Guys, maybe if it's a duende translator. Like, he'll, he'll speak into it. Uh, you know, he'll be like, uh, uh, duende, uh, como esta? Habla inglés? And it translates and it goes into And the duende comes out and goes Well, uh, it's a lot Kookman Someone said maybe it's a cringe calculator De Detector A cringe detector, huh? Hmm. So this guy just goes up to Fox slash Badger Holes and convinces himself a goblin lives in it. No! I say this guy is an expert. He knows what he's doing. He's got the tools. He knows about the mandarins that the duende likes. I don't think... I don't think you know what you're talking about. Okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, somebody, did he throw another uh, mandarin? Yeah. Cookman. Cookman. Uh, what do, you, what do you think the, the, the radar shows right now? Wait, wait, what's that? What's that? Oh, that's a leaf. I like this drum and bass beat too. <gasps> Something was here. <gasps> Guys! Look at that! Activity! That was a duende in there! Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's a real duende. Okay. okay. Is he asking for his name? He's asking the duende for his name. Okay. <gasps> oh fuck! It's going red! It's going red! Red alert! Red alert! A 10, 12? That's off the scale! Oh, yo, yo! Oh, yo, yo! Oh! Holy shit, shut it down! Shut it down, run! Duende levels rising! Shit, man! 
Fuck, it's out of batteries. Oh, you're screwed now, dude. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Wait, it says something on there. Wait, hang on, hang on. Wait, wait. Duen Duende? Duende? No, that's him. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, uh, no, um. Está marcando la energía del duende. Esto es sorprendente. I need to see what that said. Okay, no, 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 fuck off. Does that say spirit box? Spirit Estoy... box. Okay, I need, I need to see what this is. Spirit box. What the hell? You can buy this on Google? You can buy this for $121 and it's, he's got this? What the fuck is this? Spirit Box. ITC research device. $121 for this? <laughs> but how does it work? Spirit Box. Uh, well, guys, I found a shop that sells these. You just want to take a look? Um. It might be in Swedish, though, so... Uh, no. <laughs> okay, this website is, like, made in, like... Uh, Six, so can't really do it, but I'm gonna read it. I read, read what it says on the website from my browser. Okay, it says Spirit Box SB7 is the latest EVP tool used by paranormal investigators around the world to try to communicate with, within quotation marks, the other side. It's got a built in speaker, detects temperature deviation, sound, light, red screen illumination, and it says better in the dark. It says it's got a built in LED, and it says it's got a fast sweep. And it also has an AM signal amplification. Okay. And it says, how does the PSB7 Spirit Box work? Spirit Box SB7T scans both the AM FM band, focusing on a set of frequency ranges where paranormal investigations have found the best EVP results. The SB7 has balanced frequency gain and noise reduction for greater clarity. Okay. Um... This thing on this website is three hundred dollars. Buy it, guys. I might buy this. I might buy this thing so I can sit and play Voices of the Void and be have my alien detector on. But I'm gonna compromise because this thing. It's a little too expensive, so I'm gonna do this instead. Next time I do a Wish segment, I'm gonna buy a Spirit Box off Wish. I'm gonna buy it. But... I'm gonna buy it, and it's gonna be this. Check out my spirit box. Watch out. Okay, well, moving on. Here we go. It's realmente sorprendente. Wow, pequeño ser. Ahí está, ahí está, ahí está, ahí está. Se asomó. Ahí está, ahí está, ahí está, ahí está. Lo voy a grabar, amigo. Fuck it. Duende. Duende, duende, alarm going off. Duende, alarm going off. Ahí estaba, ahí estaba, lo vi. Oh, ahí oh, estaba oh. adentro. Oh, 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 oh. O no sé si era. 
Okay, okay. Watch out. It's on the side there. It's on the side there. Dwen the inbound. Dwen the inbound. It's like, you know, watch out, watch out, shit. Okay. Your spare box is off, by the way, so turn it on. It's important. I ran out of batteries. That's what it was. Oh, 10.12. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. It's going up. It's going up. Oh, my God. He's still in there. That's 10,000 duendes. He's powering up. He's powering down. He's powering up again. Okay, it's blue now. It's blue now. I don't know what that means, but... Okay, okay. He might be jumping out here at the very end. Oh, I see. I see his arm. What do you get? Like a stick. You know, get a stick on him. Oh, there he is. There he is. He's all in the distance. Uh huh. Uh huh. Just get a stick, man. Get some mandarins. No manches, me voy super contento. I was like, dude, dude, dude's taking a nap. He doesn't care anymore. It's like, it's like a wild animal, you know. Eventually, he's like lose interest. Bastante emocionado, sin palabras. Okay. Creo que estamos logrando muchas cosas con este pequeño duende. That's not duende. That's not duende. That's the guy. Okay. Esto de verdad es super sorprendente. Pareciese como que baila. Okay. But he he did see duende there for a second. Algo realmente fuera de lo común, amigos. Okay. It's him, the duende. No. He can't shape shift though. But let's let's go back to where we kind of saw him. Ahí estaba dentro. Okay. Because that's where he came out first. You know, we saw we saw the shape come out. Wow, qué locura, amigos. Shit segment. Ahí estaba. Lo vi, lo vi. That was stupid. Estaba ahí. Ah, but look at this, everybody. Este duendecillo. Se está dejando ver por mí. I, I I think we really gotta invest. Pequeño. Was this where he was showing up? Holy fuck, dude, dude! I got spooked by that. Random blurry in between frame. Holy shit! Okay, that that is terrifying. Okay. Okay, he was coming around the corner here, I think. Yeah, yeah there he is! Okay, he was looking around. I'm sorry, but, uh, you know, I'm not trying to be skeptical, of course. Uh, I'm not trying to be skeptical. But, I don't know. You tell me. But you know what I think this really looks like? You know what I think this really looks like? I mean, holy shit. MA! Well, everybody. Well, everybody. That was a pretty... Pretty fucking crazy duende video. Pretty damn crazy. Pretty damn crazy. I want to follow it up with this. This is a really, really crazy video.
Oh, oi, oi, oi. A lot of these are European piece of duende. That's from that's from the Gordon No movie. This is a Brazilian song about smoking weed and seeing gnomes in Mars. Just for context. Oh fuck it is. <laughs> okay. Um. Damn. Well, everybody, we have come to the end of the segment here. Um. I want to thank you for joining in, but we need to have a final decisive thing here now about Duende, okay? Guys, Duende real, yes or no? Real, 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 real. There's not a single person in chat saying it's not real. Everybody has been convinced, everybody. Everybody has been convinced. This is real. So, all I gotta say is, uh, that is, uh, that is, uh, that is what I'm talking about, you know, Duende Detectado, you know. I think this was a fun segment, I think this was a fun segment, and, uh, check back next spooky YouTube video night, or whatever we call this, um, pretty damn good, pretty damn good, you know, um, Next time we do it, next time we do it, we'll do skeleton videos. Here's a preview. Thanks for watching.